Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Markets Daily Forex Wrap Up. It is April 23rd, 2013. Uh, we're going to start with the Euro Dollar. Uh, Euro Dollar, as we talked about last week, was in a bit of a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, it is a little choppy, but uh, you see kind of the basic outline left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and then you know this kind of gradual line. You know, it was an abbreviated you know, neckline, but you know, it's kind of right around where we are now at, at 130. Um, you know, I'd want to see us get below 129.70, and then we will resume our bearish bias here on the euro dollar. Uh, dollar seems to be, you know, pretty strong across the board, and you know, we're, you know, we would maintain that on the euro. There's nothing that has really changed in Europe that's going to uh, change that. Uh, bias to the euro being strong. You know, we had a temporary uh, bounce based on just you know overall uh, market sentiment, but you know the overall trend is is still the same. You know, dollar should be strong here, and uh, we get below 29.70 in this little area of support that we see here, and you know, definitely be looking for shorter you know, for short positions. Uh, for some reason, it, it bounces off the you know the 130 area, and you start seeing you know bounce back. You can you know, wait to see uh, you know wait to see where it goes, but I'd definitely be you know looking more towards the short side. Uh, gold, you know, gold seems to have bounced back a little bit, um, but if we kind of zoom out here and take a bigger picture, you know, if we look at where you know where it was, and then the sudden decline and drop off. You know, we have a, a move back to this 23% uh, retracement level at 1423, and you know, it came back down, you know, back to 1410. I still think that we're going to get shorter, um, but pretty much anybody that was short and dumping positions and doing whatever, you're going to see a, a bounce and 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 a pullback as you know, profit taking. But you know, for the short run, you know, I definitely think that we're going to see. We're going to get below 1300 before this thing resumes uh, some strength. The Aussie dollar, same story. Uh, once gold took a dive, so did the Aussie dollar. Uh, if you were following us, you know we we discussed the you know this double top that was here. Unfortunately, that got broken, but then once it did come back down uh, and break back down through this midpoint, we saw it run pretty much the exact level that we said it would to 102. 80 before it pushed back and then it was you know hitting this for support and then you know we we continue in a downward direction um you know aussie and gold are pretty you know are very much tied together so you know i think you'll see as gold dips so will the aussie and you know once gold if gold gets back on track then you know that will then push the aussie back up for, but for now i'd be also uh, bearish on the Aussie dollar simply because you're getting dollar strength and, and Aussie weakness. Dollar yen, uh, we did get our run up to 100 pretty much and then it pulled back um, and now we're back up to 99.25. Um, you know, with the dollar strength and there's no signs of, of any yen strength coming out of anywhere, I mean, you know, BOJ is still happy keeping a weak yen. Um, you know, I don't see any reason why this is going to um, get slowed down, but you know, keep your eyes open when we get back to 100. You know, if, if it stalls again, you know, at that level, then that's definitely something you want to keep your eye on to to try to go short. But if we do break through 100, you know, we could st still see this continue to uh, you know progress upwards. You know, we've been going up and up and up for the last. Um, Let's see, for the last six months, you know, pretty much started here um, in October, and, you know, it's it's been a climb straight up, and we've had certain pullbacks, but it's just continuing to go. Um, we do see a little bit of a double top here at, at 100, but, you know, let's see, let's see what happens. Um, Euro yen, you know, we seem to have built in a little bit of a ceiling. At the 131 mark, uh, we've tried to get there twice, and to no avail. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I think we're going to go sideways on this, and I'd pretty much 
look to stay out of it unless something happens. You have a weak euro and a weak yen, and, and that's that that's usually what leads to consolidation. So we could have this, you know, go sideways into a, a symmetri symmetrical triangle pattern, and then you know, we'll look for a breakout to see, you know, what would happen on on either pair. Uh, dollar CAD is also something that we've been tracking. Um, you know, we, we're in a kind of a downward trend, but we have been seeing some dollar strength, and we have been seeing some Canadian strength on on some recent moves uh, up for oil. So. You know, if oil continues to move up, you know, you're definitely going to uh, you know, get some Canadian strength, and that could push this back down. And if we look at a longer-term chart, you know, we do see you know, lower highs that have been formed. So you know, as long as the Canadian stays below 103.50, um, you know, I'm, I'm liking it to the short side. And you know, if we get a little bit of a breakout on this double bottom on oil, that would also you know, lead me to a short you know, short position on the uh, the dollar CAD. That's all we have for today. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, good luck with your trading, and we'll see you tomorrow.